Hey there, Rusty Simmers. I'm Adrienne. Welcome back to another episode of Bob with the BA. As you may recall from the previous episode, Bob has moved into university housing. Let's call him residential advisor or residence advisor. He has moved into a double room and made it his own room. And so I think the only way you might be able to do this in an actual setting is by becoming an employee of the college. So Bob is the advisor for this for this floor and he's got a nice room. Now Bob's room is a little nicer than you might expect of a college student because as you know, Bob is a retired service member and also a, an elder. So senior Bob has lived a little more life and been able to collect things and travel and do all the things that your average college student hasn't gotten to yet. So that explains the slightly upscale nature of his dorm room. Now, I did make some changes to this uh, facility. I rearranged the living room nook to include some dancing area, to include a place where people can get together and do homework, and I moved the sofa and TV over to this corner. I also made some changes to the outside. This is one side of the balcony, and you can see that there's a keg, there's foosball, there's ping pong, there are a few extra chairs strewn, strewn around, but the other balcony is a little more quiet, a little more peaceful. So if you got here some yoga mats, you've got some meditation stools here, and some games here. And these are not raucous games, they're good, quiet, everybody sit down and play games, and that way you have kind of a rowdy side and a quiet side. So Bob, um, I really don't want people milling about these rooms. So I did lock Bob's door to everyone but the homemakers. So the homemakers club can come and go in his room, but they really are the only people who can do that. Bob's room is private. So I chose a double bed because we know that Bob behaves in an, an adult manner. He does have women over from time to time, so he's got a bigger bed, whereas the co-eds don't have that luxury they've got single beds and I may or may not change that at some point recognizing that adult students are adults and behave like adults and it's probably unfair to expect them to exist in a single bed but for the time being I'm gonna leave this as it is and when I deleted the second desk I forgot that Bob needs a place to do his homework. So I've sent Bob somewhere to do his homework that is in someone else's room. That probably was not a good decision on my part and I may fix that later. I'm not gonna fix it at this moment. Let's check where Bob is. The semester has just started and he is doing homework now and hopefully he's done the correct homework to prepare him for the next class. Good, he's got class in two days he did 75% of that homework and that is conflicts, conflict great and small. He's doing homework for a different class. So he's doing Imperial Ambitions, that's fine, but I really want him to do conflict instead. And if he can finish his homework, well, I was gonna say we'll take a trip, but I don't think we'll have time, so I'm not gonna promise something that I, at this point I just don't think is a possibility. Bob's going to do his homework, get all of his homework done, and then start building his social activities. And he could call a club meeting. What time is it? It's 10, it's 11 o'clock on a Saturday, so I think Bob can't, wait. let me check the Foxbury events, because I think there's a, an event coming up. Yes, there's a school spirit event coming up. I do want Bob to take part in that. I think he's um, he's going to be primed for a promotion in the Foxberry Spirit Squad. So, yeah, he's going to go to this event whenever he can. Let's stop doing homework. Why can't he go to this event? Oh, because this is stuck on packing. Oh, this is going to create a problem. Okay, so let's travel to the quad.
I think he can't do anything because my computer is stuck on packing day. So what I'm going to do is continue to do homework and then I'm going to restart. Do I forgot which homework he was supposed to be doing. Let's do Imperial Ambitions. And I wish he would do homework in the public space, but he's again going into a room. Oh, Layla, does she live here? Hmm, don't know. Do not know. Oh, somebody's singing terribly. Okay, Bob's almost done with this homework. And, oh, I can cancel packing. Good. Now he should be able to go to the Foxberry event. Yes. Let's go to that. Let's go to that with um, Layla, who's already here. I'm probably looking for Bob. And yeah, I know you've got good ideas, Bob, but let's go and have some school spirit day fun. Okay, Bob and Layla are at Foxbury Student Center. And what I'm looking for is wherever. Oh, I see, I knew they had yarn bomb that thing. Okay. What does Bob have to do for this event to be a success? Enjoy Saturday on the quad. Bop around with a soccer ball. Kick back with the mascot. Oh, and the mascot's name is Lobster Larry. I didn't know that. And I don't know where the quad is. Bob has been a student for a while, but I have not quite figured out where to go for stuff. Foxberry. Oh, now normally we would hang out, but we are at the school spirit event, which I can't seem to figure out how to enjoy. So I know Bob can play soccer with Layla or with some of the other people. So where is Bob? He's here at this table chatting it up. Cool. He can start the cheer and he should get a lot of involvement in this cheer because these are all Foxberry folks. So come on, Bob, start that cheer. <laughs> he's he's cheering to the wall, but that's okay. Yeah, the people are riled up. Yeah. Oh, she must be Brychester. Well. Yarbadoo zonker, yarbadoo. Okay, Bob's on his way outside, and I was hoping that the mascot Larry, Lobster Larry, would be around. He's not. That's okay. Bob's gonna have fun anyway. Who's this guy? Fui fui. Hey, dude. Why are you so red in the face? That's interesting. So I'm sure share some tips, and he will tearfully introduce himself to that guy. Bob's making lots of friends. And he's going to make friends with June or he'll, he'll kick the soccer ball with June. That's a good spirit day activity. I don't think he's met June. Who, by the looks of that shirt, is a bit nerdy. Okay, Bob, since he's talking to this guy, he can... Let's ask some homework questions. I didn't know that was a thing we could do. Hey, dude, come back. Oh, that must be a professor. Come on, we want to get to know this guy because he's got some knowledge that we don't have. Okay, Bob's kicking that soccer ball. That was fine. Let's move on. Let's check this guy's background. 
Bob's going to ask about his grade and I'm going to select actions so that we can open his sim profile and this doesn't tell us anything he's just an acquaintance so Bob needs to get to know this guy because I think this is one of his professors and he could really get to know him and that would be great that would be great ah professor what can he do you can ask a homework question look at that I've never done this before Professors generally are up for questions about homework and about grades and I don't think that you can approach a professor about your particular grade without some kind of warning that you can do that because professors can juggle anywhere between dozens and hundreds of students so generally even if they know who you are they're not going to have your academic ref, uh, your academic information in mind unless you are you know, so bad that you stand out above everyone else so it's a good idea to if you're going to ask your professor questions about your grade to do that with some sort of warning a day in advance or make an appointment but if you're just having a conversation with your professor they're like everybody else that you meet you know they are generally approachable they like to talk about the thing that they are a subject matter expert in this guy probably has a PhD in history because he's a professor and he teaches Bob's classes and Bob only has um, Bob only has um, history classes so these two actually probably have a lot in common so it would be appropriate for Bob to engage him when they are outside of the classroom and talk to him about homework. Now, Bob can add a little spice to the food and maybe grab something to eat. Yeah, I don't know why he's not getting a meal. Oh, good. Okay, so Bob can order food. Wow, he can order some fancy food. So he can order chili. I think herb crusted salmon is a bit much, but you know, I've had that on a college campus too. Just a little information. I work for a college in San Antonio, Texas, and so my college life is an everyday life. It has been an everyday life for about 14 years. Prior to that, obviously, I was a college student, so I have been on a college regular regularly since about 2000 when I decided to go back to college and earn my associate's degree. So between earning an associate's, earning a bachelor's, earning a master's degree, and working in the higher ed industry, I've been in college for a very long time and I absolutely love it. Um, it is a career that I thoroughly enjoy. I love what I do. I love working with students. It's, it's all a lot of fun for me. Uh, hey, so this might be a bad time, but I came back to our place and I seem to have uh, locked myself out. Ha ha ha, silly me. So could you come home? Like, no rush, but now would be good. So Bob is a resident advisor, so he definitely wants to get out there and help students in these kinds of situations as often as is needed. Oh, I thought he was going home. What the heck? Go home, Bob. Seriously, go home, Bob. So Bob's going to rush back to the residence to help out the student who contacted him. And I've since forgotten what the name of that student is. However, I'm sure you'll see it in the playback. Actually, we'll both see it in, in the playback. So while Bob is going back to the dorm, let's look at homework. And yeah, he had a great afternoon and it really has not poorly affected him. So that's fantastic. We never did find the mascot, but we're doing good. We celebrated Spirit Day and Bob's got to go to the bathroom.
Okay, Bob's back at Briny Towers where he is the resident assistant and I think he can introduce himself to the residents here. And there's Fatima, there's Hamza who needed some help. Let's see what other interactions are there. Oh, Bob can do the Fox Fairy greeting now. Yay, Bob. Is that Fatima? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Let's see who else we can meet here. Who's here? Oh, this is Bob's room. There's nobody in there. Here's another guy. Oh, that guy we met at the student center. Let's brighten that guy's day or help fix a bad relationship with Ken. Don't know who Ken is, but you know, students can use a little bit of advice. It looks like that's all that is here today, which is fine. Good. All right, let's get Bob doing some homework and let's have him do it here. Imperial ambitions and also call a meeting of the home workers Oops wrong club there we go start gathering. Oh, I forgot to change the settings Let me change the club location To briny towers Or I could change it to yeah, let's, I'm selecting any library, so whenever he calls a meeting, and all of our club members are here, and let's take darts away and just keep it to homework and hmm, social. Homework and being friendly, and we'll open it up to everyone can be friendly. Good, and that's a good positive club. Okay, start club now. Oh no, Bob's not, oh no, I thought we were gonna be at the library. What happened? What have I done wrong? Okay, start gathering. So Bob's going to gather at the library. All right, look at the homeworkers club. We might be at Brychester, I'm not sure. I don't know where we are, but I do know that we can do homework. So, set table. Where's Bob's homework? Bob's gotta go to the bathroom. I hope it's on the first floor of this strange library. I'm not even sure what world we're in right now. I've never been to this library. And that is one of the reasons I selected that option. One, because it's cool and I've never done it before. And two, because I thought it would be a good way to tour sim libraries. Cool. Good, now that Bob's gone to the restroom, I want him to do his homework. Oh, I think he left his homework at, dang. Okay, well, he can't do his homework, unfortunately. I'm angry at myself about that, but he can work on his presentation. So that's what he's gonna do. And I'm gonna go looking for other homework club members so that he can ask them for advice. All right, who's that? Is she a homeworker? Oh, that's Rico. And that's Julia? Yeah, that's Julia, okay. Can he ask Rako for help? Oh, and I love her pants. Good, Bob's coming along with this. That's fantastic. Okay, the thing about Bob is he's flirty and he's got three girlfriends and he's a school spirit guy and a party guy, always up for a party, but he is a good student and he's very studious and committed to his education. So he gives everything his best shot. I'm not sure why he's embarrassed. Oh, I missed it, let's see. Oh. Does he have two girlfriends in the vicinity? I know he has multiple girlfriends in the club, 
But Julia's not a girlfriend. Reiko definitely. Oh, Reiko and Tasha. They are next to each other. Whoops. So I was hoping he would be able to help somebody else with homework. Since he doesn't have his own homework with him, he left that behind. But I guess that's okay. I wanted him to interact with the club, but I also wanted him to work on this assignment. He's getting tired, but I do want him to get get the first level of this assignment done and then he can take it back to his dorm and get some feedback from um, the residents of the dorm instead of the homeworkers. Or he can invite a homeworker over, whatever. All right, so we'll put that in his inventory because we don't want to accidentally leave that. And now he can be friendly with the the club members. Oopsies. Who is this person? Is she? Oh, she's a librarian. I will talk to her later. Right now, he just wants to um, be nice and talk about school related, talk about friendly things. Oh, he can practice fighting with her? That's amazing. Let's see. It looks like nobody in the club is really having a good time. And Julia. Is that Julia? Oh, Rico is angry with him. I'm assuming that's because Tasha is here. But she, we can maybe ask her to just be friends. Or discuss her mood. Although I don't know if discussing... She's really ticked off. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me pause it. Okay. So, what Bob can do is just ask her to be friends. I know she's in love with Bob, but clearly she's not going to be okay with what uh, is going on. So, I'm going to ask her to be friends. And... There. Now, I think this is a good way to handle this. Oops, Bob. Take care, Reiko. Take care, Reiko. Aw, oh, Reiko, I'm sorry. Come on, Bob. Hurry up. He's embarrassed. I think he's embarrassed just by the, just by her behavior. Sorry, this, this isn't what you think it is. It's just casual. Let's just be friends. Oh, and she did not take that well. Oh, let's get to know her. And this is a friendly club, so ask about her career and share some close knit tips. Is she getting better? It doesn't look like she is. Oh, she's going to hate him. Try to calm her down. Smooth apology. Come on, Rico. Okay, goodbye, Rico. Can't, can't do it. Okay, there's Tasha. And Tasha's all lovey dovey. Oh, she's mad. We might have to just unfriend Rico. This is awkward. Alright, Tasha is doing good and they can chat they can talk about grilled cheese you can express admiration oh people are tired can we invite her to stay the night give her ask her about her day don't go away tasha this is a bad club meeting oh no it's bad. It's bad. We should get out. The club people are... None of them are happy right now. Oh, there's Morgan. Let's see if we can practice fighting with her. Who's this? Oh, Leah. I forgot. She's, she's one of the newer members. Let's share some ideas with Leah. Let's, uh... Have some deep conversation with her. 
and let's talk about Julia's career. And obviously, all of these ladies are students, so, you know, they enjoyed that. There, he's going to give her some relationship advice, and he's going to get to know her, and because she's fairly new, he's going to kick a ball with Julia. And Tasha, he's getting really tired, so we should probably end this on invite her to stay the night. Okay, that was fun. Move on, Bob. Good, now go talk to Julia. So this was not a very successful club meeting, but he, he did get his presentation done. So, you know, that's not nothing. Okay, let's end this meeting. Give everybody the opportunity to go home. Good, he's sad? Aw, he's sad because he's his relationship ended with Reiko, and honestly, he can send her a sad text, I guess. I think we're very close to just putting her out of the club. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. So I was trying to figure out what world we were in, and clearly we're in Windenburg, obviously. And I never noticed this town square. This really is pretty. Windenburg is still really new to me. I just never played it until the last few months. But it, it, it's obviously got an old world European feel, and that's fantastic. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it reminds me of Germany, and but it also reminds me of Amsterdam with all of the water. Not that there's not water in Germany. Just uh, when you think channels and things, you think either Venice or Amsterdam, and of course it doesn't look like Venice at all. Okay, so Bob is back in the dorms, and I do want him to work on homework, and I respect this guy's hairdo, it's awesome. I lost his homework, is what I did. I left it on the table. Yeah, it's still there. So Bob can finish up his homework. And in the meantime, I'm going to enter, I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Come on back for another episode. Bob still has not actually started semester three, but he's getting there after semester three. He has semester four. And if he survives that, Bob's an elder. If he survives that, he will graduate. And I'm very excited for Bob to get to the end of that. So thanks so much for watching. Come on back for another episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.